for joining me today. I am crafting outdoors, as you can see. I am camping, so we are on vacation for a week, and this video has been a long time coming. And I'm very sorry, I just have been so busy decluttering and cleaning my house. I am having a um, rubber sale coming up in a couple weeks, and so it's just been a mess. And um, it has been way too many years, and I just have accumulated so much stuff and it's been hard to craft. Um, I had a video of my woodland gnome come out and I had filmed that before I started this. So um, I have the video today we are gonna do is how to make gnome shoes without using the party favors um, baby shoes from the Dollar Tree. I had a subscriber that wanted to know how to do that. So thank you for very patiently waiting. I know we probably haven't been patient and I'm sorry. Um, and I'm probably not going to edit this video, so whatever happens, happens, because I want to get it uploaded. So I'm going to show you how to make um, gnome shoes. Oops, gnome shoes. I have these. This is a set that I did, and I'm going to show you how I did them out of recycled items. And you should be able to find something very similar to what I'm using. I know you can. And any material. Um, the ones I'm going to show you, I'm going to use like a flannel. And this is the gnome that we're going to do. And I'm going to give you a little how I I made his arm shorter and it, it worked out. It's going to work out because his hat's going to cover that. So, um, so this is what we're going to make. So what you're going to use is, and I'm camping, so I had to find something to make these gnome shoes and I had an idea. I had been working on it at home so I knew I wanted to use a cardboard tube. And I um, had a paper, a toilet paper roll and that was too big. So I went and looked on my foil and I took my foil, there wasn't a lot on here. No, there was some and I unrolled it and stole the roll. So that's what we're using for part of the shoe. Just give me just one second. I just have all my craft stuff is in the back of my Jeep right now so I just wanted to close it up um, so we're gonna use this and this is if I have my ruler and I don't I'm it's in the back of my car I'm thinking it's about the size of a quarter so it's very small I mean if you can see my finger um, compared to that so a toilet paper roll which I don't have that either because it's I just probably put it all away. Um, so about the size of a quarter, I would say. And covers. These are two stacked together from a water bottle. And I'm just going to open this one. And this is about the same size. It actually fits in here if I were to put it in there, and it does. So, um, so if you've got like pill bottles, you could use that if they were fatter you wouldn't have to stack them so I that's how I did these this back part is this so it's like this and I just had uh, oh there it is so this is how I did it I cut this and I just used a knife because I'm camping I do have some craft supplies but I didn't really have anything to cut this so I used a knife and then I went hunting, I even had to go in the garbage and find um, covers to pop bottles or water bottles. And these are, well, this is in the United States. So, um, and I'm in Minnesota. So this is a 10 ounce bottle. And I had a bigger one that is a five liter, 16 ounce. So it's not the big covers. Um, if you're making a bigger gnome, yes, then you would want something bigger. You would want bigger cover and, and this. So this is what I'm using because I'm, I'm camping and I didn't plan on making this video here. So I took two of these covers and if I can find, I just glued these together. Um, so what I did, and I don't have another cover because I just glued it. So because they're hollow on the bottom, you I glued right 
around the edge of this cap, the top part of it, and then glued it on top of there. And it's, you have to glue this, um, it's very hard to hang on to this, like this, and not burn your fingers with the hot glue. And this is a low temp glue gun, it's, glue gun. it's brand new also. So you're gonna stack two if you want it higher. If your gnome was bigger and you wanted bigger shoes, you're gonna use bigger covers or caps from, I mean, your, look in your fridge. Something that's gonna be, you're gonna be, you know, done using your water bottles, pill bottles. So I took and stacked two, glue it together. And then I took, and I can do it, we're gonna glue a little bit on the edge right there and I apologize if, if you guys can't really see but I put a little bit of glue right there and then we're gonna glue it you're gonna kind of center it and you're gonna put it like on the table so everything is flat and you're gonna let that sit and set up and if you have to because if it's not hot glue it's gonna start drying right away and go just around the top part and in the crevice where the cap and the um, roll, the paper roll meets. So right in there and then on top, just add a little bit more glue. And just let it sit. And that's what I did with this one. Okay. And then I took the um, package from the cardboard. I also took it apart and cut it because I needed something for the base and um, what I did with the rest of the foil was I just rolled it up and you know somebody will complain. Um, so once we have this set we're going to take and we're going to glue around the edges of the cap and the paper roll. And it's going to squeeze out, but we're going to be able to cut it off. So it's going to be no big deal. And I even when I got the roll, started putting it on the edge of the roll, I went down inside the paper tube a little bit. Because then it will help it stick. So just like that, okay? And then you're just going to stick that on your... Um, just the package, because this is, it was Reynolds wrap foil is what I use. It was the non-stick, so it doesn't matter what kind, but it had the smaller roll. And it was like a 25 square foot one, I think. So I'm just letting that sit. And then I actually went around, I'm just gonna stand up, because it's hard for me where I'm camping to get, I want you guys to be able to see me doing this. So I'm going around the outside edge the bottom edge of the cap and the tube and we're just gonna let that sit and dry okay and then once that's dry we're gonna cut it out and I keep losing my shoe so we're gonna cut it out and you can see how I cut it out I didn't go in here I just went straight around just like that okay and then you're going to have to make sure you have a big enough piece. You might have to use a scrap piece of paper, uh, material first and not if you're short on material, what you want to use for your shoe. You don't want to just use that and then you've wrecked it and you don't have the material to use. So once this is dry, we'll set that aside. We're going to cut this out and I'm just going to do a rough cut. And then I'm going to use my smaller scissors so that I can get closer. And then that's when you're going to end up cutting off some of that hot glue. But when you cut, do not cut this in here, okay? It's just easier. It, it, I mean, you can't even tell it. If you look at my other video at, that I did oh, earlier this year, they're pretty similar. And if I would have had black felt... Um, it would have worked out better for the shoe, but all I had was ribbon. So I ended up covering the bottom of the shoe in a fleece. And then I had black ribbon I did around the edge. 
okay and then tied a bow so I will show you how we did get some of my scraps and this is like I said um, let me get my ruler so I can measure give me just a second Okay, so the height of this, and you're gonna have to go back and watch the video because if I upload this, it's gonna be right from my phone. So this is about an inch tall. This is, okay? And the two covers together, a half inch. Well, five eighths, so. But you want it lower, just like that, okay? And then, so the diameter is about an inch and an eighth. So about the size of a quarter. Okay, so then we're going to take and you're going to figure out, like I said, it's going to be um, just going to want enough to tuck in from the back. And once I get this, I'm just going to have to keep doing this. You're going to tuck it in like that. Okay, and then when we do the front, you're going to have to make sure you have enough to tuck in. See, and I don't. So then you're just going to tuck a little bit, bring that so that you have enough to tuck in. Okay, so let me do that and then I will show you. So you're going to put your glue inside the cardboard toward the top and put a little bit on the bottom. I need a glue stick. And you got to do it before your glue dries so that your fabric doesn't move. And you got to figure out where it goes. Okay, so that's how you're going to do the back, okay? I'm just going to stand up here. It's kind of hard because I'm at the picnic table. And I put glue down in the shoe also. And then tuck that front in there. And it doesn't have to be flat. And I got, I just got glue on my shoe. Hopefully it'll get covered up. But just be careful because it is hot. You can put on these. I get these from the dollar store. I think you get three in a package. So this is what we have. Like I said, I just got glue on my fabric. So here's the inside of our shoe. And this is the front. So this is how we got these wings on the side. So what I did was you kind of have to work at this you don't want these raw edges showing and you're gonna kind of just bring it and fold it in like that and if you have a gather on this side do the same thing on the other side and the other shoe and you're gonna tuck that in okay so let me get this glue in here And then you're just, and the finger, this finger uh, protector works great. If your finger doesn't stick to the glue. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we have a little gather here. So I have to want to make sure I do that. So that's just me. It's got to be the same or I'll do it all over again. So I just kind of, and we want these raw edges. If they're going to show, you got to tuck them. So I just kind of bring it up. And I hope I'm in camera, you guys. If I'm not, I'll just have to do more, another video with more, another pair of shoes. And I just kind of get my finger in there and just make a, like a, a pleat or, a, you know, a tuck. And then hang on to it. Put your glue inside your shoe. and then tuck that in and then just press it down and make sure everything is flat okay and if you have to put more glue in there if something's like this front isn't if you have a um, popsicle stick you could use that which I do but they're big ones this glue is very stringy so there's our shoe 
and I've got some in the back here so you have to be mindful of that. So we're just going to take and we're going to put a little bit of glue in here and then we're going to glue those back pieces down. And I'm just trying to get that tucked in there. And make sure the tip of your glue gun is clean if you do that so you don't get glue on the back of your fabric. And then we're going to, you can cover this up. I don't have, I mean, I could do it with the, because it's going to go for these, or this gnome. Um, so I could do the same thing. I could use the fleece to match. Um, but I just want to show you guys basically how to do it. So, and I'm not going to do both shoes. So then what I did, I need, oh, I need my rice, just a minute. I packed up so much stuff, you guys, for camping. I want, um, we're camping with my husband's family and um, one of my girlfriends and her husband are here and their grandson. So I wanted to do a craft. My husband's niece is doing um, tie-dyed. So I thought, well, I should do something. So I'm gonna do we're gonna make some gnomes so now I'm just gonna take I filled the inside of the shoe I filled the inside of the shoe with rice and it should be enough to weight it down and then I'm gonna cut a circle of the same matching fabric and this is similar how I finish this off with my other gnome video and then when you put the glue on, I'm trying not to spill anything. You're just gonna go around the edges. You're just gonna let it kind of fall down because if you touch that rice, you're gonna pick the rice up. And make sure you get it in the middle. And then you're just gonna glue, press that on. And if it, if it squirts out a little bit, just you can let it dry and cut it off. And if you get some glue on your material, because I did on this shoe, totally, totally let it dry. And then you can peel it off. It depends on, like if when I get glue on the noses, I can't. I Even if I let it dry. It really depends. So there's your shoe. So if you wanted to take um, matching ribbon, or if you had... Um, felt and wrap this do a strip just like I did I started in the back and wrapped it around um, I can get some and show you give me just a minute okay let me see if I have some ribbon that's gonna match oh, that's not bad but um, you know what? Let's, let's see if I got a piece of the fleece left over here. Okay, I kind of forgot about doing the bottom of the shoe. So let me just cut a strip here of this fleece. And you don't want it very wide. Because you still want to be able to see the rest of your shoe. Okay, so we're going to start in the back. Just going to do a little bit. And make sure you know what side you want to use, right or wrong. And then you're just going to glue it down. This probably could have been even um, thinner. And then I just take and I put the glue right on if it's felt or if it's a strip. A ribbon whatever you're gonna use and then wrap it around and if I was doing this and I kind of forgot on my other one um, I would probably do the base first 
So you could do it, I've done it both ways and it works out okay. And then so I just kind of fold it over my thumb. So then I'm able to get the hot glue on whatever I'm wrapping around the shoe. And just make sure you don't go past the bottom of the shoe. I'm sorry if I'm out of camera. If it's just too bad, I'll do another video. So then you're just going to wrap that. And then we'll just cut it off. I'm just trying to trim that. And then we can take, we'll just take a piece. This is what I did would do with the bottom is put glue, because we'll just do the bottom the same as the side. Put glue all the way around and it's kind of wrinkled there. So I'm just going to try to press that in, get it all over the whole thing. And there's another glue stick. And the mosquitoes are out. And then I just press it on my material. And I'm gonna end up using part of this. So press it on. I don't cut the, the, the piece out first. I will do, do it this way because then I can, can cut it. So let me cut. I hope you guys are seeing enough of this because it's kind of hard. So just do a, a really light cut first. Don't go in too far until you can look at the bottom when you can't see it hanging over from the top, okay? If I can see it, if I can look at it from down from this way and see it, then I'll trim it. And then go this way and just, So that looks pretty good. And then I would get some ribbon. If you did, you could do, we could try with this. Cause I've done it this, you have to cut it. I did this on, it was on one of my known videos. And I gotta cut another strip. Where if you cut the ribbon, I mean the fleece, if you cut the fleece on the stretch, then you're able to pull it and it kind of curls. So I'm just trying to get it long enough so I can see if I can use this to tie a bow because I don't think I have any ribbon. So if you stretch it like that, it kind of curls. So let's try to do a bow with this and see what this looks like. If I had, I probably have a darker green, but this would match the whole shoe and then the gnome. So then just tie a bow. I just do the bunny ears. And oh, that looks cute. See, and it kind of gets rid of the edges when you pull it. Um, so I've done it where I've wrapped it on some of my gnome hats on the top and it curls and it looks really cute. I kind of lost some of the ends there. So there is our gnome shoe. So that's how you make a gnome shoe without using the party favor baby shoes from the dollar store. So I will try to link what I can below. If you have any questions, um, please, I'll sit down so you guys can see me. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna edit this. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will answer your comments. Um, so like I said, I use the inside roll from like a um, aluminum foil and then covers from water bottles. So if you have pill bottles, if you're making a bigger gnome, you want bigger shoes. So then you could probably use a paper towel um, roll. Um, I think they're a little bit sturdier than toilet paper. But, but yeah, so my subscriber wanted to know how to make gnome shoes without using their party favors. So this is how we did it. I think that turned out cute. And his arms. So I did his arms and they're only maybe three inches long. Cause this is, I used the fabric from what I cut off here for his arms. So you can use your scraps 
and his hat, you know, I probably lost his hat because, you know, I put stuff away and I had one all picked out and I had to re-sew it. And like I said, okay, so I found it. So his, I'm going to make sure, and I did, that when I cover his, put his hat on, that his arms are going to be shown. So I didn't have to go have a piece long enough to go up to here. So let's glue that on. I'm going to try. And I did have, I cut of, I ripped it um, from this piece um, so I could tie it around his wrist so I could make it match his shoes. Um, I, if I would have, I didn't like the hat, this material for the hat because I was going to do that and I didn't like that so I did the fleece and I could do, you know, rip some more of these and tie them on his hat or do a bow or something. Um, if I do that, I will link the picture below. But I did do, um, and I don't know, hopefully this, my phone is still running. I did do twine. So what I did was I just took and I wrapped around his wrist. And I always do, and with the sleeves, the seam side goes down when I'm putting them on my gnomes. And the tie will go on the outside. So I'm kind of trying to hide. I'm not sure if this is the one I ripped or not. So I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. This might be a little fatter than the other one. And then I'm trying working the material so that the right side is up. And then I just cut it at an angle and then I glued inside the sleeve so it would stay. And I'm just going to glue right at the top of the sleeve. Seam side's going to go down. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it there. I'm going to turn it because I want it to angle out. So, and this is the body. This is the bodies that I always make. And then we're going to put his hat on. So the seam side of the hat goes down right in the middle of his back. We're going to make sure those arms are going to get covered. You're going to flip it over, flip that up. Put your hot glue. My son and my husband are out fishing. Haven't eaten supper yet, and it's probably like, I know it's like 8.30 at night. The bugs haven't been too bad. It's been, this is only our second day here. It's been really pretty. Didn't sleep very well last night. So then I put the glue on the hat. You can put it on the nose, just be mindful. And I'm trying to do it. I gotta turn this around so I don't get it on the nose and don't like it. Okay. And then I'll glue the sides. You're gonna have to glue the sides by his arms. So this is a good way if you don't have enough fabric but you wanna do arms, is to figure out your, get your hat done and then figure out you don't need your arms but to go right underneath the hat and then I would just rip let me see if I can move a piece here if I can tie a bow with this so I would tie a bow and then maybe put a flower or something so then the, the all the oh we got to put the shoes on I have no idea how long this video is going, you guys, right now. <laughs> it's too long. I'm just going to probably make another one. I've not filmed outside doing crafts before. But I just, in case somebody watched this video and didn't know how to put the shoes on the gnome, this glue is very stringy. Get my bow a little smaller. Okay. Let's 
Okay, I gotta turn this and see what I'm doing here. And if you do this, and I mean your material, you're gonna, you might have to glue the, the, the ends down on the fabric. So you could put the bow there. I'm not sure if I want to glue it or tie it around there. And his shoes. Well, I'm not gonna do his shoes. This is what I would do. So I'll use these shoes, but I'm not gonna glue them on. You're gonna get them where you want them if you want them to face out. Okay, all my stuff out of the way. And you're just gonna put him on there and see if he's gonna stand. And then you're gonna glue, you're gonna put glue right on the shoes. So just make sure he stands on there and he's not gonna fall. And then you glue your shoes how you want them to um, face. If you want them pointed out, if you want them in, make sure he's centered. And that's how you do it. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I have another video that I have to do and I might try to do it this week with the Grandma Ellie Gnome. I have a subscriber that wants to know how to make it and not sew it. So it's going to be all um, hot glued. So if I have the time to do that this weekend um, or this week, I'll do it. Um, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to join my crafting community. Um, and, um, I'm sorry for not getting the videos out like I have been, but like I said, I've been decluttering my whole house and it's been a huge process. My living room is half full of boxes for a room to sell. So thank you for being patient. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, and I really, really appreciate all my subscribers. Um, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I can start doing live videos. Um, and when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will have a giveaway also. So, um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'm, I'm probably about a little over 200 subscribers away from a thousand. So, and then about a thousand, oh, 11, 1200 hours of watch time before I become monetized. So thank you guys for joining me in, on my vacation camping. Um, if you have any questions, comments, um, want to know what I used again or anything, measurements is kind of hard because it depends on the size of your gnome. Just write them in the comments and I will get back to you. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. Bye-bye.